but let's yeah. let's double check because the whole the whole strategy here this is this was our first video right the intro video yeah but as we start to run videos every week which is where I, I i really want you to be doing i really want you to be doing is running one every week and some some weeks you won't have to run a, a new one like some weeks you'll be capturing leads from that one ad so you wouldn't need to launch the new one right away but but ideally you want to get in the habit of 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 weekly because here's what's going on as we start to run these ads, we're also creating audiences, creating audiences around those who watch it. So I'm pretty sure with this first one, we set up a 25%, meaning this audience are people who watched this video for at least 25% of the whatever time length it was. But in this case right here, it's 2,500 watched at least 15 seconds. That might be a good audience to, to go off of. Um, is, is, 50, is, is 15 seconds. So let's click on the dots in the top left. And so as we just run more ads, weekly ads, this is the first thing you'll always wanna do is, is create the audience. If it's a video, you'll go to audiences. Okay. So, so let's say we just rent, we just set up that ad right now. That's a, an ad that's scheduled to go out tomorrow. The very first thing we wanna do right away, right after we complete setting up that ad is we come over here to audiences and we create a custom audience and you'll do it right away. Um, you can do it whenever, but, but you'll always want to do it right away. Do it before the ad goes live tomorrow, you know? Okay. So, so in this one, I'm this in with this one, I'm pretty sure we set up. Yeah. We set up 25%. So the higher you go up in percentage, the lower or the smaller, the group, the smaller, right. the group, right? So 2,500 people watched it for at least that was the through play. 2,500 people watched it for at least 15 seconds. That means that a little less would have watched it for 25% because 25% would be more than 15 seconds. Does that make right. sense? Mm -hmm. So the higher you go up in percentage, the smaller that audience will be, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I'm just saying it'd be smaller. So if we have 2,500 that watched it for 15 seconds, it's safe to assume that maybe, maybe 1,500 watched it right. for 25 percent maybe a thousand what and in this case it actually shows below 1000 so maybe below 1000 actually watched it for 25 percent and and so i like the percentage to be a little higher like i like 15 seconds like especially if it was a especially if it was a two minute video if it was a two minute video and these people only watched it for 15 seconds that might not be the audience i want to retarget versus versus maybe a 25% audience. Okay, let's say it's only 900 people. 2,500 people watched it for 15 seconds, but 900 people actually watched 25% of it. And 25% right. of two minutes, that would, be way, that would have been way more than 15 seconds. That's why I kind of go, that's why it, I'd rather take a smaller audience of 25 percenters than the 2,500 of 15 seconds. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. this audience, they wa they watched it much longer. So that's someone who I for sure want to get back in front of. But again, I mean, 2,500 people, that is a good amount of people that watched it for at least 15 seconds. I mean, and sometimes you want to put yourself in the consumer shoes. Like you be, you're a consumer, I'm a consumer. When we, when we see random videos online, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, whatever, YouTube, whatever, and we sit there and watch it for 15 seconds, Right. What do you think? I mean, do you get something out of it? Could you get something out of something in 15 seconds? We could. I mean, 15 seconds, that's a good amount of time. It wasn't, it's not three seconds, it's 15 seconds. Right. So depending on what it is, that could be, that could be a good amount. And this is, this is good for you to know as well. In the future, as you start to put out more videos, those first 15 seconds is kind of the most important. Okay. Because if I can get someone's attention in those first 15 seconds, and if I'm going to build an audience around 15 seconds, then at least I know that those people knew what the hell I was talking about because I got to the I got to the to the to the main bullet point in the first 15 seconds. And that's what you want to do. That's actually that's something that you want to do. From this point on, you want to at least hint in the first 15 seconds what that video is going to be about. Okay. Rather than sometimes when we make videos, we kind of, and I, I'm, I'm guilty of it. I do it all the damn time on my YouTube channel. I rant like crazy on my damn YouTube videos. 
I should be getting to the point much, much quicker. Um, and, and so based on this metric, it's 15 seconds. So let's get to the point. And the video can go as long as you want. You can go one minute, two minute, three minute, whatever. But in the first 15 seconds, let it be known what the hell that video is going to be on. Okay. Because if I just come over here and create an audience around 15 seconds, at least, at least that'd be a good audience. Like, so that would be, and so let's just do it. Let's, let's create an audience around 15. We'll do the intro video. We can leave that one, but let's do another okay. one as well. Just for the, just for the fun of it. Let's just do another one. Create audience, click the blue button, um, create audience. And so again, in the future, you'll always want to do this right away. We just set the video to go schedule to, to schedule to go live tomorrow. Okay, cool. Now let's come over here, custom audience. So we're going to okay. click on that one. And we'll just get in the habit of doing this every time um, around the video. So we'll click on video. And then um, we'll simply choose the drop down. So you'll click on next. And then you'll just hit the drop down over here on the next page. And then um, let's go. So right here, again, it just shows us everything. So, so a through play is 15 seconds. So 2,500 people watch that one for at least 15 seconds. Okay. So again, if, if, if I would have really threw out some bullet points in those first 15 seconds, which maybe you did, maybe you didn't. I didn't, I didn't even really watch the whole thing. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. But, but in the future, if I can at least throw out the bullet points and the main point of that video in the first 15 seconds, that would be a good audience to go off of because you're going to have more people watch it for less. More people watch it, even more than 2,500 watched it for three seconds. More than 2,500 even watched it for 10 seconds. 2,500 okay. people watched it for 15 seconds. Maybe 1,700 people watched 25%. Maybe, maybe, maybe 300 people watched 75%, right? So it just goes lower and lower and lower. But it's either, it's either 15 seconds or 25%. On, on what you want to be building around. Okay. Okay. So uncheck the 25% and just do, um, do the 15 seconds and then, um, and then choose videos in the top, right? Click on choose video and then just go to the, to the, find that intro one. Actually it's okay. yeah, perfect right there. Okay, cool. So confirm. Oh. And now you have a custom audience around and see, that's weird because it said 6,500 watched it. Actually, 6,500 watched um, watched at least at least three. Actually, go back to it real quick. Hit edit videos. Click on edit videos. Over here, it said, actually, yes. Yeah, see, so look, 2,500 watched it for 15 seconds. 6,500 watched it for three seconds, right? So, yeah. So that's, that's the count. So when you see a view count on a video, just something random on any page, it don't matter where, and you see a video and, and it says the view count, the view count is based off of three seconds. That's, oh, what okay. creates, that's what creates the actual view count for the public to see. And that's oh, what you, well, okay. 6,500. So if you go to that video on your business page right now, it should reflect that same number, 6,500. But again, when we go and create audiences to want to retarget that audience, three seconds, not exactly an audience I want to spend money on to retarget because if you sat there and watched three seconds, you probably didn't even get my damn name. Right. <laughs> you know, so, so you were just browsing and just randomly click play, but then you moved on right away. So it's like, I don't even want to get back in front of you. Um, but a 15 second, if again, I got points across in those first 15 seconds, then maybe I'll just build an audience around, around those. Um, around 15 seconds. So 15 second, 25%, just go off of those two. So hit confirm and we're, we're good with this one. Okay. So, so again, as you go set up the next ad, this is just the habit we'll get in. So X out of this one. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm so sorry. Uh, name the audience. I'm so sorry. We didn't, we didn't even complete it. I'm so sorry. Go back okay. custom audience and let's just do it real quick again. Hit video. What we had to do was, was give it a name. So, um, hit the drop down 15 seconds and then just choose that video. Okay, cool. And then, um, yeah, confirm. And then, and then you'll, you'll give the, the audience a name. So scroll down audience name and it could be the same intro video. And then in parentheses, just put 15 seconds or, or, or through play could be, it could be through play or, or 15 seconds. Yeah. Perfect create audience. And so now you have, now you have those two different audiences um, to just start building from. So hit done. 
and then and then you're good. So now now it just comes down to okay. So now here's what's going to happen. Now that's video. That's video. Cre click on create audience again, and then okay. go to um, custom audience. So next next the next step is really to get our hands on a seller guide or a buyer guide, and it's it's one or the other. Focus on one. Okay. That's really the next step. But once we have that done, then we have to get some type of online software because now we need landing pages, we need an email automation, and we need an online calendar. So most of the softwares out there run about a hundred bucks a month, but I always tell people you only need it if you're really going to be consistent with Facebook ads, like, because you, you have to run it to a landing page. Once you capture that lead, that lead has to be emailed that seller guide right away. And you're not going to physically email it yourself. And that lead also needs to be nurtured. So there needs to be a handful of emails that are already preset, ready to automatically drip on them. And then in these emails, there better be a call to action to get that person on the phone, right? So it's the landing page, it's the email autoresponder, and it's the online calendar. Because in these emails, there's a link to your calendar. Okay. So, so that's kind of next, that's next step. And, and again, if you, if you stay consistent, which I'm hoping we stay consistent with running Facebook ads, that type of software would pay for itself, like literally pay for itself, but you don't need to pick it up just yet, but that's kind of what would be next is, is, and I've seen every landing page software under the sun. Like this is what I eat, breathe and sleep. This is all I do is online marketing. So I've seen everything out there. Most of them run, run separately. Like you'll have to pay a hundred bucks a month for the landing pages. You'll have to pay like 50 bucks a month for the email automation. You have to pay like 30 bucks a month for an online calendar. Most of them are billed separately and they're all separate companies. But the one that I always recommend is just one company and it's all three all in one for a hundred bucks a month. Uh, that's so, good. Yeah. It's landing pages, email automation, and a calendar. Those are the only three things we need because here's what happens. Let me show you. Let me share my screen real quick. Stop. Okay. Stop sharing and I'll share my screen. Let me show you in a perfect world. This is all we need. Like, um, let's say, let's say we focus on sellers, right? We're a listing agent. We're, we're, we're now going to start running Facebook ads to get people to download our seller guide. So this is a basic template. So I see your Facebook ad. Let's say it's you in video and you're giving me a tip on what it takes to sell right? That's all you're going to start doing. That That's the video content. The video content, the first one you did was introducing yourself. Right. Now, every video after this would be a short video giving someone a tip on what it takes to sell. And so the way I want you to kind of strategically plan this out is, is just with all this knowledge you have on selling, now it's time to just break it down into short one minute videos and give it a give it and, and 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 share it as if you were sharing a tip. Okay. Like 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 simple like simple like like today's tip, or or it's actually weekly. So it's just it's just one a week. We're running one video a week, educating people on the process of selling. That's it. And at the end of that video, there's a call to action. At the end of the video, like let me just show you a random ad. There's always going to be that call to action button at the bottom of every ad. So as you scroll down through the news feed and just kind of see what everyone's up to and see what everyone's posting. And then all of a sudden I come across a sponsored ad. Where's the ad? Okay. So right here. So there's the text, there's an image, there's the learn more button. So you can always do an image, but it would be what I recommend is an image of you, like a headshot of you. When you okay. only do image, you have to be really good at the text. So okay. your message, whatever you're trying to portray, whatever message you're trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to give out would obviously have to be written because all this is an image and that person needs to know what the heck is going on versus a right. video. If that was a one minute video and you're actually verbally telling me what the hell is going on, right? That's obviously different. That's video. That's why I always recommend video because with video, you can just say everything versus having to be the best, what we call ad copy. This is ad copy versus having to be the best ad copier. So you're either going to be very good at writing something and just put in an image, or you're going to just simply do it, do it in a video and just let me know what they can do in the video. So the video could be super powerful and super simple where it's just you in a one minute video, giving some type of tip on selling 
or some type of ARP, some type of market update on selling. And again, we're talking to your local area. This is not a post for all of social media. It's a Facebook ad, right? Targeting that local area. So we're, tar- we're talking to that area, giving some type of tip on selling. And at the end of that video, it's all about click and learn more. So I would say something like, hey, guys, and by the way, I put together a 2021 seller guide that's going to cover this, 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 and this. If you click learn more, it will take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free copy. See you guys there. So it just okay. becomes this friendly video where you're giving out education and tips on what it takes to sell. And at the end, you're giving away a free download. Okay. That's it. That's as simple as it gets. And so this is the landing page. And this is basic. This is a template. You can always change it. I mean, it's just a, it's just a simple template. But this is, this is all it is. It's not a full-blown website. It's one freaking page with one yellow button. That's it. And many times with real estate, you guys have the most fanciest websites. It's not even funny. A lot of times people run an ad and I click and it goes straight to a fancy Keller Williams website, for example. And there's a million things to click on. Yeah. That's why people don't, don't, capture, don't capture leads. Because the moment that person sees your ad and they click, they're clicking on 15 buttons on your website. And before you know it, they're leaving and you never captured a lead. Mm. When it comes to Facebook ads, it's very specific very specific. I'm either going to come here for a seller guide or I'm coming here because you're, you're running an ad on a listing. I click and now I'm coming to this one page regarding this one listing, get instant access to the price and photos of this property. And then a few bullet points, one single button, view all 17 photos now. That's how you capture the lead. And that's, that's for a listing, which we won't be doing too much of. I want you to focus on, on one, either a buyer guide or a seller guide. That okay. would keep your pipeline full. So in this case, if it was a seller guide, that's you on video talking about some random tip on selling. I click, I come here, one page. I enter my name and email, send me your 10 tips. I then come to this second page, which is what we call a thank you page. On this page, it's a short video of you. All you're doing is introducing yourself. You're saying, thank you for downloading your seller guide. You're letting them know to check their email because you just emailed them their free PDF. And then number four, you're telling them to schedule a call. That's it. So here's what ends up happening. This is the landing page. Now that person clicks on this button. It takes them to their, to your online calendar. Those who don't click the button and don't schedule the call here, those are now email. Those are now leads getting dripped on via email. In these emails, let's say we have 15 of them preset ready to go out and drip on them automatically. This entire thing is automated. It's all automated. From the moment I run that Facebook ad and it's running 24 seven to my backyard, automated. To the moment these people are coming here, scheduling a call, automated. To the moment these people that are not scheduling a call here are getting emails, all automated. In these emails, what I'm doing is I'm educating them on the seller guide. So if I have 10 emails preset, every email is going to refer back to the seller guide. So, so let's say, for example, on day three, day three, another email goes out. Hey, Dave, hey, hey, John, this is Dave. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know three days ago you downloaded my seller guide. Do you remember on page three when I was talking about the importance of renovating your kitchen and how much value that can bring to the overall listing price of your property? Here's what I meant by it, Dave. And by the way, if you click the link below, it'll take you straight to my calendar where you could schedule your best time. So if you're looking to list or if you have some questions that you'd love to get answers to, I'd love to talk to you. Click the link. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you schedule your best time. So these are, these are simple emails that would be going out, continually nurturing that lead, educating them on what they downloaded. So I'm educating them. I'm continually educating them on, 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 on what it takes to sell in a friendly educational way. I'm not pitching them. I'm educating them on what it takes to sell, little tips here and there with a call to action, with a link to my calendar. Okay. That's it. So appointments would would either be coming in from this thank you page or appointments will be coming in from the automated emails that are going out with your calendar link tied to it. And that calendar link is not in your email signature. That calendar link is not a PS. That calendar is a, that link, that's a hardcore call to action in the email. Hey, Dave, and by the way, man, if you'd like to jump on a call, I'd love to talk to you. Click the link below, take you straight to my calendar to schedule your best time. See you soon. 
like that's a real call to action in the body of my email. You know what I mean? So that's kind of what it is. Landing page, email automation, and an online calendar. And this software is also where you would host your PDF because it's a PDF that has to sit somewhere. And that PDF sits inside of your, inside of your, your system. So the moment that email comes in, that email, the next email is triggered. The first email is triggered right away with a link to that PDF to download. So I have a lot of this stuff already done for you, man. Like I have a lot of it already done for you. I have a lot of these funnels already done for you. I have a lot of emails already done for you. Um, it's just, it's just getting your own software, the, activating the system. And it, and it comes with a 14 day trial. Um, it comes with a lot of these funnels already done for you, real estate related. And then it comes with, with my support. So you'd have me to always answer questions. I also hold a Monday and Wednesday Q and A. So every, every Monday and Wednesday at 3 PM, I do a zoom 3 PM central. I do a zoom call where I just jump on with a bunch of agents and we just tear apart this entire software and whatever question you have, I answer it right there on the spot and we share screen and all that stuff. So you would have major support on the software alone. Um, And then the company actually does the same Q and a live webinar. They share screen and all that every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 PM central. So Monday through Thursday at 3 p.m., there's a Q&A webinar teaching you how to use this software. So it's pretty cool, but that's just, that's later on. That's what we'll need once we get our seller guide done. Okay. But that's kind of, that's kind of the step is, is and, and the reason why I had you go to the website. So go back, actually, you know what? No, let me, let me show you this real quick. The reason why I had you go back to custom audiences and then click on website, because as we start to go into websites and as we start to build custom audiences, so say for example, this was your ad giving away a seller guide. I click and that's the video. So let's say I'm watching a one minute video. You're capturing the audience of those watching it, but then you're also capturing the audience under website. You clicked on website. That's where we're at right now on your screen website. We're also capturing the audience of those that land here. And that's what we have to go on, on our, we, that's like, we're like, we're like, two calls away from what I'm about to explain to you right now, but I'll briefly explain to you right now so you can kind of get an idea because custom audiences, website, that's where you're at. We did custom audiences for video, but now this is website. So here's how this part works. As people click on your ad and they come here, some are going to opt in and some aren't. The ones that do not, that's someone who I want to create a custom audience around. So what I do inside of inside of the website that you're at right now. So you went to custom audiences, you clicked on website in that section, which we're not going to do on your screen right now, because we don't have any websites yet. But once we do, this is what we end up doing. We end up taking this link. This is the link to my webpage. This is the, the first landing page. This is the link. So what I would do with this link inside of Facebook is I would create a custom audience under website. And I would name it, we're going to name our audience, I would name it website visitors. These are people who landed here, but never opted in. Those are people that I want to create a custom audience around because if they got this far, why did you click on my ad if there was absolutely zero interest? You would have kept scrolling, if, if anything. But for some reason, you stopped, you clicked on it, you came to my webpage. Yeah, you didn't fill out the form. Okay, cool. But you got this far. I'm going to put you in an audience and I'm going to show you another ad because if they got this far, they just didn't enter their name and number. A million things could have been going on. They could have been driving. They could have been freaking with their kids and their kids started crying. They could have been cooking and the food's burning all of a sudden they got to go. There's a million reasons why they probably didn't fill out the form, but they got this far. Show them another ad. So this link would go into website and it would, you would create a custom audience. Now here's another custom audience. When that person gets here and they enter their name and email, send me your 10 tips and they get here. This is another audience that we better be setting up. So right where you're at on your screen, website. This link would now be set up under website in a custom audience. We would name this audience seller guide leads. Now with this specific audience, I would then make sure that I exclude from seeing future ads. So as I go set up my third ad, fourth ad, fifth ad, and I'm talking about selling, I would always, always, always on every ad, which I'll show you how to do once we start running ads. I'm going to show you how to do all this stuff, but I'm just kind of giving you the bird's eye view now on, on how this whole website custom audience side works. 
those who land here obviously opted in. Those are leads. So I need to set that up in Facebook as well, because this audience, these specific people, I want to make sure never see my next ad because they've already opted in. So they don't need to keep seeing the same ads. Does that kind of make sense? Mm -hmm. It does. So that's how you really make sure you're showing your ads to the most relevant audiences and not spending more than you need to. Don't show your ads to people who already downloaded your seller guide. And that's, okay. this is just the, the steps that most agents don't even get to. They just run one ad and don't capture any leads and then get pissed off and never run another ad. What you were supposed to do is create an audience. Create an audience around those who watch the video and then show them another ad or create an audience of those who landed on the page, but didn't fill out the form and show them another ad. So the more we keep doing this, the more this audience of people who landed here, but didn't fill out the form, the more that audience is going to grow. And the more we keep running video ads, the more audiences we're going to create under all these different videos. And that's how you just create this omnipresence of you being everywhere because we're creating audiences and retargeting those who are engaging. And that's why they're going to keep seeing you before you know it, they're going to fall in love with you. And before you know it, they're going to be doing business with you. That's how you take over your town. You keep showing these ads to people who are clicking and engaging with your stuff. And, 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 and as we stay consistent with ads, we're, we're talking in the thousands. We're not talking a few people. We're talking in the thousands. There's going to be thousands of people that we're retargeting because they landed here. There's going to be thousands of people that we're retargeting because they watched the last four videos and we're only on video five. Right. So I want, right. this is, this is, this is something major. And once you learn this again, because especially because of your schedule, all this is going to be automated, which all you're going to be doing is waking up to appointments. That's great. <laughs> so, so no prospecting, physical prospecting needed. It's all done. It's all leveraging Facebook, but doing it the right way through an actual ad. You know, so go ahead and share your screen. And then, um, okay. and then again, long story, what we got to really do is just, is just focus on getting our hands on a, on a buyer guide or a seller guide. Which way are we going? Are we going buyer, seller? Which, which way are we going? So I think I'm going to do seller. Awesome. Perfect. Perfect. So see if you can get your hands on a seller guide and then, and then, and then, and then email me, let me know, let me know when you do have one. And okay. then, and then, and then I'll send you a link to just simply hire somebody 20 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 bucks. I'll send you a link and you can just have that, have that person redesign it and make it look super professional. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I will let you know when I have that. And then, um, I guess I'll sign up for one tomorrow or next week. Yes. Yes. Let's try to get one next weekend. Um, once we have the seller guide, then we'll, then we'll activate a 14 day trial on the okay. software, because that's what we're, we're going to need all those links to start setting up custom audiences. Okay. So, so it, it's, it's taking, it's taking your seller guide, putting it into the software, which is our landing pages, our email automation and the calendar. It's all one software. We take the seller guide, we upload it to that software. And then we go start to, we, we go and create some pages landing page. I, again, I already have all of them done for you. I just got to transfer them to your account, but, but then okay. we got to take all the links and go create audiences which is website. Okay. That would be set up before we even run the ad. So just like we're setting up the custom audience on the video before that video even went live, this one already went live the intro, but let's just say it was the second one. Right. Right, right away. It's scheduled to go live tomorrow. Right away. We go and set up the custom audience around that video. Same thing with the website. So before we even run the ads, we need to set up custom audiences around the websites, around the web pages. So we can start collecting data right away. We need to know who landed on the on the homepage or yeah, who landed on the landing page who didn't opt in. We need to know who actually opts in. That's all custom audiences around website. Okay. So get the seller guide first and then and then let's and then let's chat sooner than later. Okay. No, that sounds cool. good. Awesome. So I'll be a message away if you need anything and have a wonderful weekend. Happy Easter. You too. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.